Richard, do you believe in God? Yes. Do you believe that God is omnipotent? Yes. Do you believe that God is perfectly good? Yes. And therefore, don't you conclude that God made the best possible world? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> For the reason that there couldn't be a best possible world, it's not logically possible that there be a best possible world, because any world that God might have made, there is a better world that he could have made instead. A simple reason for this. Humans are a good thing, so the more humans, the better. So clearly not all concentrated on Earth, but spread, spread around uh, an infinite universe. Now, he's got to make some number of humans. Suppose that he makes a trillion humans, and they all have nice, good lives. It would be a better universe if he'd made a trillion and one humans, and so on forever. You might think, well, this could be solved by supposing he could make an infinite number of humans. But you can always add to an infinite number of humans by making another one. So, whatever universe God makes, it wouldn't be the best of all possible worlds because there couldn't be a best of all possible worlds. Okay, then if God has not made the best of all possible worlds, how then can you define God's perfection? God's perfection consists in doing nothing bad, in making many good things. A good being will spread goodness. Um, he will make lots of it. He can't make a maximum because there isn't a maximum, but he'll make lots of it and he'll do nothing bad and that's what perfection consists in. Can't you use the same argument that you made to exclude the possibility of a best possible world to similarly exclude the possibility of a most perfect God? By saying whatever defines the perfection, there could always be an increment to that. No. The goodness of a being is not to be measured by the quantity of the goodness of its, the effects he produces. A perfect being will be as good as a being can be if he just makes a lot of goodness, because although the effect of his perfection would be greater, he wouldn't be any the more perfect for making that. So you are defining God's perfection strictly in terms of God's goodness? He is perfectly wise in the sense that he knows all true propositions and he's perfectly powerful in the sense that he can do anything. But uh, perfection in this context is usually meant by moral perfection. What I'm doing actually is spelling out the notion of God in a t coherent way. And uh, clearly uh, it's part of uh, God being who he's supposed to be that he's very good. Now the question is how you spell that out. And if I'm happy with spelling it out as his being perfectly good, but then I want to understand perfectly good in a coherent way. And if one tried to understand perfectly good as making the best of all possible worlds, then that wouldn't be a coherent way. But if you would understand it as making lots of good things and doing nothing bad, then that is a coherent way. The best of all possible beings will be omnipotent, omniscient, and perfectly good. He's morally perfect. If he does nothing bad, everything he does is good. He does a lot of good. I can't see any sort of further coherent sense in which he could be more perfect than that.